This is the fifth video in a series of videos on problem solving and decision making for the School of Business at Washburn University. In this video, we're going to talk about building a consequences table for your PROACT model. So the consequences table is a table of all the alternatives that you are evaluating with the measure for each objective provided for each alternative. If you remember in the last couple of videos, uh, we talked about starting with objectives, so saying the things that we're trying to accomplish with solving our problem or making a decision. And then we go through and we determine the different alternatives that we can choose between in order to meet those objectives. Accurate and complete data collection and calculation is required in order to arrive at the best outcome. For some qualitative objectives, you may choose to use a binary or zero or one measure. So for example, if you're looking at houses and you want one with a pool, um, that, that's certainly a binary me measure. Either it has a pool, one, or it doesn't, zero. Or an ordinal measure, which is a ranking if you're familiar with a Likert scale. The Likert scale is a very common scale used as an ordinal measure. So you rank things one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Finally, recognize uncertainty in your estimates for future outcomes. So here's an example. Your small but quickly growing business is in need of a warehouse space. You've identified three options for renting a warehouse. Your objectives for the place that you choose are as follows. So first of all, what's our problem? Our problem is that we uh, need additional space and we've chosen to pursue warehouse space. Our objectives are as follows. We want mo low monthly cost, so measured by the monthly triple net lease amount per square foot. We want a short distance from our main office. We're going to measure that in miles from our firm's main office. And we have a short minimum lease time, measured as the minimum months allowed for the initial lease period. So note again, these are the objectives. We list the objective, and then we list how we're going to measure that objective. So here's our alternatives. Uh, the first warehouse, warehouse A, has a monthly rental cost per square foot of $1.50. It's 8.4 miles from your office and the minimum lease time is one year. The second warehouse, B, has a monthly rental cost per square foot of $1.75. It's 12.8 miles from your warehouse and the minimum lease time is six months. And then finally, the last warehouse, warehouse C, has a monthly rental cost per square foot of $1.35. It's 16 miles from your office and it has a minimum lease time of nine months. So we have our objectives. Now we have the different alternatives we can look at. So we create our consequences table like this. You see in the first column are each of our objectives and how we measure them. And then in all of the other columns, we have a column for each alternative. We put the measure for that alternative in that column. And that's it. That's how you build a consequences table. The next topic will be on our trade-off and analysis.